I'm very excited to have my next guest join us. Their brand new album is called Conditions of a Punk. It is the guys of Half Alive. Gentlemen. Good to be here. Yep. Thanks for having us. Thanks for your time. Josh, Brett, Jay, how's it going? I like that uh, you guys are all in different locations right now. Oh, yeah. That's, That's our style. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I didn't get the memo for the uh, ugly sweater or, or holiday sweaters. I didn't mean to insult. Yeah, yeah beautiful sweaters. <laughs> yeah. Jay and I are the odd man out. Yeah. Nice. Well, clearly you have gifted the fans with some new music, and this has been uh, a long time coming. Congrats on this. One thing to note is that uh, if if we look at the discography, you guys released some new music back in February. And that was something that I think uh, a lot of people were like really excited about. But uh, it was very interesting because, you know, they were expecting a double album due to the fact that you named it Give Me Your Shoulders Part One. Right. So... Change. Right, right off, feeling, right off the bat, feeling. what happened to to that thought process? <laughs> right off the bat, just uh, wanted to confuse everyone, lead them down a different path. But no, it's just like we we had one idea in mind, and then the album just kept shifting and forming, and so things uh, things became different. We're like, actually, this is this is bigger than what we thought it was going to be. And this massive eighteen song record um, just sort of took over. The, the vision and so it needed a new title it needed something else more than what we had planned before so what was the plan before then if if, if these first seven songs that had come out in february were kind of the lead up where were you going yeah i mean it could have been like another seven songs or it could have been you know uh just the completion of that record but we understood that our fans wanted a lot of of new material and we had a lot of new material and so um, creating a, a really large uh, encapsulating record um, felt like it was more than just a part two then it needed a whole new vision and and a, a reset in the world building to happen so that's where conditions of a punk came around mm -hmm. and and so with this material it's what you described as more emotional as opposed to what the debut record was kind of deemed as more cerebral yeah these definitely. are your words right yeah, it's definitely like the the first record was way more of the head. This one's way more of the heart. It's like uh, the first time that we were allowing ourselves to talk about love in this way. And so it's it's much more intimate in, in nature. And it's also, I feel like that's what the, I mean, we're seeing right now, like such a massive engagement from the fans and how the record's being received and how it's translating to the live show. And um, we're having our, our tour is just went on sale as we speak right now. And we're just seeing like like shows all over um, selling out super quick. And so it, there's something that's connecting. And I think it's in some ways, it's a lot of things culminating. But in some ways, I think it's because this um, this record is uh, not talking like about a subject. It's talking to a subject. It's like it's in the same breath about a person and about God. And it's it's uh, it's like an opening of the heart in order to like feel something very uh, deep instead of just talk about the concept, which we did a lot in our first record. Like, what does trust mean? You know, the concept of that, or how, what does it mean to be okay? Is it okay? Um, you know, and, and even like Runaway or songs like that. But in this one, it's like, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a seasonal mythology record. It's a, it's a love story. It's, there's so many things um, that this record is, but it's all of it. It's, it's incredibly emotional. And I, I think that's what people are resonating with. What I found interesting recently was that your song Creature has been used in quite a number of TikTok videos as mm -hmm. of late, especially by folks of the LGBTQIA plus community. That song has resonated with them. Mm -hmm. How yeah, much did that take you off guard? It, that did moment, it take you off guard? That moment inspired pretty much us to jump into TikTok a lot more than we had previously. We had found that like we were trying to figure out how we do short form video and how we connect with our audience in that way. And once we saw how people were using the songs to be inspired and create their own content from something that we hadn't even thought about approaching that song in that way, I think put like a new fire under 
us to be like, whoa, there's like a way to interact with fans in a way that we had not previously thought about doing. And then seeing <laughs> how people are like uh, experiencing that song lyrically and how helpful it's been for a lot of people and like their their traumatic hurt for varying reasons post like church hurt or like you're saying that whole community of people it felt like new life was kind of breathed into that song in a way that just made us relook at most of how we were approaching short form video to kind of dive deeper and be like people are connecting in a way that we didn't think they would connect and got super hyped by it really got really excited and kind of just dove into the rest of it with that in mind, being like, people are connecting, they're doing their own thing with it. How do we like respond with that? How do we make stuff with them, inspire them to make more things or all the different things of ways to be creative on the short, shorter form content. So that was a big moment for us, for sure. With the new music, you have obviously 18 songs on there. One of the songs that really, I, that I, that I really enjoy is, is Move Me. Can you Talk about what the origins of that particular song was and how you feel that uh, will be interpreted live. Mm. That yeah, song that song. Yeah. I remember, Go for it, right? I remember with that one, we had been doing a lot of songwriting sessions and we're kind of a little worn down from the same kind of process or uh, going through in, in certain sessions. And so for this one, I just remember we kind of have a spirit. We had a spirit of like, what if we just we just we had a spirit of more trying things that we might not even normally do like what if this started in seven and then just that idea seemed to come immediately and start drawing inspiration in, in a way and i remember i feel like from that day just the lyrics came out of that day um i remember like the lyric moved me just kind of stuck and we just were more playing to the room um the noah conrad who we were writing with he's he was a trumpet player and he had like a piano. So we're just like, what if you played trumpet? What if we played this piano? And I think that day was really fun to just kind of watch a song kind of take shape with some of the barriers that I think we were like, not necessarily putting on ourselves, but then also kind of like drawing inspiration for from what was literally in front of us. And yeah, we really love that song as well. You talked about the on sale for the tour. You guys are hitting the road starting in February next year. I'm sure you're planning, you already have visions of what the live interpretation is going to look like. And can you give us some hints as to what to expect? For the live show? Yeah. Um, it's going to be super energetic. We always have dance with us. I think it's going to be, um, it's just going to be like really engaging um, and uh, definitely not a show to miss. There's, there's, a whole new record it's a whole new show i think the feeling from the album of when people maybe didn't expect to be this album to be what it is as far as its size and nature and things it was tackling i think i'm really excited to have that same experience for this show in this next tour are you taking us into a world are we going to be immersed into just a, an experience that you have to be there early so that when you are there, you understand as we go through uh, various acts. In a way, yeah, that's a good way to put it. Always. Very yeah. vague. I like yeah, it. Yeah, we'll keep it somewhat <laughs> mysterious. <laughs> there's, there's themes that I think we're finding that people are picking up on that we're going to carry those themes from the albums, previous albums to this live show. So people are picking up on that they'll pick up on what we're bringing to the live show amazing well i'm looking forward to it man congrats on this release uh you did some great work here and look forward to seeing you on the road thanks pete thank you mm -hmm.